Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Ninja Boy. In the last episode, we went down the sewers of Athletown, we faced Bad News Boss, and we got another R-Ball. We also made it so that the people of Athletown are no longer angry with us. So now that that's taken care of, we can now go down to Grand Polis. Which means we can take this subway. Now we still have to face some enemies. That is for certain. So let's see who we battle. We definitely will be getting some new guys here. Such as this guy. Thankfully this, th these guys are pretty simple when you know what to do. I'm going to get my sword out. And basically these guys are just flying enemies that then turn to other enemies once you land on them with the somersault. Just with the regular somersault jump. You have to defeat four of them, but you know what? That's okay. Just make sure they don't attack. Don't give them the ability to attack because they will shoot a fist at you if you let them. Also, those robots that the little flying enemies turn into, you can face them by themselves without the actual flying form that shows up beforehand in the area where we are going. Speaking of the area where we are going, do not call the giant. Because if you do, you won't be able to land anywhere in this area, and you'll have to go through all this over again just to get back to where you were. I did test that out. So yeah, you can't cheat to get to this area of the game. You have to get here the hard way by going through all of Future Land. And even then, once you're done, you still have to go through all of Future Land just to get back. Like this is the only, the only way to get there is by walking. You cannot use the robot at all. And while I'm not a big fan of that, I can definitely see why they peppered the area with terrain that has been labeled by the game as do not let the robot land here. And I can't believe I'll let you fall in the pit like that. I wish more new enemies would show up. That would be cool. But anyway, we are now at this station. If you go north, you'll just go all the way back to Computown. If you go left, you'll be at a dead end. So the only way to go is to the east here. Do not call the giant here either. You will not be able to come back unless you do it again the hard way. And these guys I did not see in my practice run from this morning, but I did see them in the past in a past practice run for playing ahead in case I got a little further than I thought I would. These guys, they're kind of like the stone enemies near Arcadia Town. And these guys give 3,000 experience and 2,000 sen when you just beat two of them. Oh, I'm sorry. 2,000 experience and 800 sen. I'm then probably thinking of another battle. There are more new enemies and I want to see them. Well, I'll go ahead and fight you because you're not on the train. So at least that's we got that working for us, which is good. Also, in case you can't hear it, I do have a fan on. Also, I thought I jumped on that other guy. Oh well. But I might as well just go ahead and try to defeat two more enemies. Oh. Okay. Well, they're not worth that much experience, but they're still fun to fight nonetheless. And RNG is becoming high again. That's okay. I can fight all these guys. I don't have a problem. I'll be a level 37 before you know it. And two down, probably two more to go. And apparently 
you do have to fight five of these guys. I was under the belief that you had to fight four. At least for this battle. But thankfully, the battles here aren't too bad. And the path is pretty easy to follow. And we got the snake boxers again. At this point, you'll start getting snake boxer battles where you have to face a three instead of two. And you'll have three on the screen at any given time. And if you could just stop launching fireballs, that'd be great. Ah. There we go. Alright. I need to remember to get another M icon. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but I got my M icon. I got my experience. I got my send. And I got my increase to level 37. Okay. Let's go down these stairs. What is that? Ghost! I'm sorry, I told you not. Let's not do it, no good monkey. What? You silly dog. An odd couple, aren't you? We really are good friends. Sure. Anyway, Galez is occupying Grand Polis. It is chaotic there. Use this cave to get to Cactus Village. Thank you, guys. Try to be nice to each other. So anyway, we need to cross this bridge. And we need to go up this, or up or down, whatever direction the stairs go, over here. If you go past these stairs, we're just going to reach a dead end. Alright, we got these guys again. I don't mind the experience one bit. Now if I could get some Sen, that'd be even better. I'd like to hit 200,000. Because there's no way... Oof. Yeah, these guys will hurt you if you let them. But other than that, they're pretty easy. So anyway, we need to go up these stairs because going past them just leads to a dead end. And we need to follow the path here. There are some more enemies. I'm going to try to fight them, if I can fight them. This one may be the three snake battle. I have a feeling this is probably the three snake battle. If it is, you'll know. Well, I'll... Yep, this is the three snake battle because there's three of them on screen. Get off! Well, that takes care of two of them at the very least. Then there's three. Getting absolutely wrecked doing this, but... Well, it's worth it. 3,000 experience points, 2,400 zen. Challenging battle, but it is rather fun. And there's a chest here. We want to open that. Because that gives us level counter 4. We can finally scan every enemy in the game. And these guys are here. Level 30. So we're going to be facing enemies that are in the 30s at this point. I may have to use... Ow. I may have to use... My meat bun at a certain point. If things go awry. And you guys are just lining up for destruction. And I got my three, so all I need to do now is just survive, and thankfully I did just that. Yeah, I already got the level counter four. I am about to say, I just mentioned that I got it. Okay. Now that we've gone down those stairs, we need to follow the path to the west. And these guys are apparently level 29. I feel like there's one more battle I should be showing off. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a different battle. Oh, 
there's oh this allows for four of them at any given time Ooh, I'm gonna have to keep jumping if I fight those guys here and still in the whole not a, any more experience or gold for this one even though this is tougher than the one we had with them on the subway I'm gonna go into one more battle, maybe. See what's going on. See if I can get into one more battle. Okay. Eh, I'll take them. They're easy. I feel like there should be one more battle that I should be able to get, but. Well, I'm not really getting them. And well, it's a cool thing that I did that because now I'm able to wipe these two guys out super easily and get the experience for it. Eh. There's probably nothing else that we can do there. Let's go ahead and follow the path here. Thankfully, it's pretty easy. Once again, because the terrain is a little different, do not, land, do not use a giant anywhere around here. You won't be able to land here. You'll have to take the hard way all the way back. And these guys. Don't let the pallet swap fool you. These guys have guns. Thankfully, we fought this kind of enemy before. If you see them pull their guns out, be ready to jump. Oh boy. Oh, come on. And these guys will throw you, too. Don't pick me up. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! And, yeah, we're not fighting these guys. These guys are not worth it. 450 experience and 610 sen? You can do better with just about every other battle in the game. And we get to fight these guys in the sewers, too. There is a p area where you have a conveyor belt if you fight them in the Grand Palace sewers. Thankfully, you only had to fight one if that's the case. That's the battle I was thinking of. And there are two guys that we need to defeat for this battle, so might as well get cracking on this one a little bit. We, let's just be careful as we do everything. Okay, there's one. I'm going to get the sword out just in case. Oh, well, that didn't take you long at all. Now to just go all out with the miracle kicks because we're so close to the cactus village that we need to go to. Ow. Uh, I should have used the uh, miracle kick to get away from him as I was getting away. That would have made it a little easier and I wouldn't have gotten hit in the process. There we go. There's our two. Awesome. And we are now at level 38. Great. And there's Cactus Village. Really, game? No, 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 no. You cut that out. Okay. We're at Cactus Village. There is an inn. There is a convenience store. And there is a item shop, which has what we need. And by what I need, I mean everything. Even though I don't need everything. This is the Exchangia. We are not using this one either. No. I I refuse. If we're going to get the Hit No Blow, we're going to get it at the Secret Shop. I will try to save up for that. I need to use that Meat Bun. And that's apparently the only thing that I use. But we're halfway towards the uh, the hypno blow. 
which I do want. And let's see here. Yeah, I do want to go to a convenience store. That way, in case I die at any point, I don't have to worry about it getting virtually everything back. And I don't have to worry about taking the long route back to here. Welcome to the Cactus Village. Rubadoc of UPM came over and borrowed our treasure to save us. Rubadoc! We haven't heard that name since Yokai, I believe. We went a long time without hearing the name Rubadoc. And he was in the intro and he was mentioned in the very early game, too. And all of a sudden, once the Steve showed up, we stopped hearing about him. The Galans got brought up. We definitely weren't hearing about him at that point. All of a sudden, his name comes up again. So let's go ahead and talk to more people while we are doing things. We couldn't get used to the urban life, so we settled here. We learned that living with nature is the best. Mr. ABC is visiting us. He's in a cave to the north of the village. He'll give you a nice present when you pass his test. Hmm, interesting. Our chief wants to see you. Visit him first. We will receive you warmly. And the chief is right here. Glad to see you, our heroes. People are all talking about you. I left the Marvel box with Rubadoc of UPM. Now I heard the Galans have kidnapped him. Soldiers in the village are heading to north pursuing the Galans. Please help us. Retrieve Rubba Doc and recover our Marvel box. So we now need to head to the north. I'm assuming that UPM means Universal Peace Mission. Because that's what Rubba Doc was doing. And hmm. Well, we might as well get, get into some battles here. I might as well go ahead and go for a little bit more time. I'm going to stop at the northern cave, though. Because, well, this is as far as I got in the practice run. I just stopped as soon as I did everything I needed to do in Cactus Village. Because... I didn't know how long it would take me to get there. And you guys just show up. Great. Well, at least I took one of them down. Alright. Ow. But we are done with this battle. I'll definitely take the experience. And here is the Northern Cave. I'm going to cut it off here. Join me next time when we go to the Northern Cave and take the test that Mr. ABC has to offer. And then we get to rescue Rubadoc and beat the Galants once and for all. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!